but now the minister promises 7,000 laptops for school well I nearly choke and the media y'all are very serious the government of Keith Rowley came in and said when Kamala Passard Bissessa had begun in 2011 giving out 2010 2011 2012 giving out uh, an approximately 20 to 21 thousand laptops to the form one students who would have then gone form two three and move on up and was then going to primary school to give tablets to the children to move us to prepare us to educate us to have the children ready to move rowley said it's rubbish it's nonsense while his grandchildren have laptop have tablet have iphone have everything he said it's nonsense it's a waste of money for all your children because y'all are dunce head children now seven years later over 150,000 laptops less that would have been disseminated in the society and also would have assisted elderly and so on in the house to learn and to move with online this and online that and educational opportunities and young people advancing and using technologies and creating ideas that could blossom and diversify the economy one app created in the states is generated over two billion u.s annually that is more than oil and gas in revenues if we have our bright children who could do that develop one or two apps on behalf of the country through the investment of the government that would be revenue for the taxpayers for the citizens of this country but Rowley burned fire on it. And Rowley said, and you all clapped, I'm going to take away the laptops from you. Now my grandchildren have. Yes, even the new one that he ain't even get to see yet. Them he go have. Yes, but not your children. Who is Kamala to give you laptops? You all are dunsy head children. You all are not even bright enough to use it. In fact, giving you a laptop is distracting you from what you're supposed to do that's what Rowley said and now they come to say minister promises 7,000 laptops to school Archie I you have a set up video play one show them that I ain't lie don't see head first former don't see head first former addressing the information gap is important to fight in poverty we must close that gap The government will provide a laptop to each secondary school student this month. This will ensure that our children can complete, compete in a world where knowledge is currency. Don't see head first former. Mr. Speaker, with respect to the question of the laptops, the provision of laptops to entry level students is downright foolhardy. It is logistically burdensome on students and parents. It puts some students at risk. It is overly expensive. Mr. Speaker, given that a not insignificant proportion of our youngsters are challenged to score well in basic reading, a computer in some of those hands could be an unintended distraction. What is the purpose of providing these computers? When the whole school gets lapsed up, Mr. Speaker, on this explanation, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Education has a laptop for you. He thinks you're a dunce head first former. In the school program, laptops, laptops, contributing nothing to the children's education and what disrupting the school program. And what your government did, we stopped the contractual arrangements. We did not take away laptops from children. We did not take away laptops from children. The expert on education at the university did an assessment of the laptop program and concluded by documentation that this multi hundreds of millions of dollars that they were spending on laptops were largely wasted, contributing nothing to the children's education and were disrupting the school program. A main area of focus this academic year is the ministry's digital transformation program comprising 13 projects, including the transition to e-books, the digitization of all teacher and student records, and the introduction of e-classrooms for all our teachers. In addition to the 40,000 devices already distributed in the last two years, 7,000 laptops will be distributed to students who are means test approved and also teachers starting this week.
I don't know what to tell you all. I don't know what to tell you. That some of you could sit there and try to justify voting for that, for the PNM, for Rowley, for the Minister of Bundles, these dishonest human beings who suffer and create problems just for their own upliftment, to take resources from you, the people, so they could get 210 head into 500 recusals, make up and concoct nonsense that laptops are distractions and not aiding and abetting, not assisting in education. What total nonsense. And you all listen to that. And you took your finger and voted for that. And now these shameless, dishonest liars come to pretend that they're giving you laptops. The fool in his slippers there with the toe jam. Right? Looking like suffering from Taranji Banji in, in front of um, uh, Sem uh, however many hundred laptops that he got to give children. The same Dunciad children that he called your children and took it away while his grandchildren had access to everything because them not Dunciad. Just a reminder of what Kamala's vision was and had this lying email gate clung who has decimated our country not hoodwink the population with the assistance of the mass media and a corrupt EBC to sneak by a victory by 2,700 votes. Trinidad and Tobago would have been at the cusp of international education. Our children would have been ready to move this country further. They would have been the most sought out children in the world had this vision that Kamala had continued. Run it at you. The future is here. And settling nicely into the classrooms of Trinidad and Tobago. Indeed, it is a future that engages the minds of young people in ways that have begun to change the dynamics of education in this Twin Island Caribbean nation. Starting with a laptop for all first formers, the government of Kamala Prasad Bisesa is committed to taking the gadgetry to higher levels, feeding the thirst for knowledge with a diet that scientifically positions the student population for a rapidly changing technological world. The electronic classroom boards have already entered the system on an experimental basis. The clock road Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha Hindu Primary School in Penal has the first of two smart classrooms. The Honorable Prime Minister in her promise to the nation leading up to the general election of 2010, we had put forward on the manifesto the question of human capital development for sustainable development. And then it was one of the seven interconnected pillars was the question of ICT and the connectivity within the population and ICT in education as well. And from day one, she also promised to give the students entering into secondary school one laptop per child. And uh, we have delivered in that for the last four years. We have given close to 75,000 laptops to students and who would be now in Form 1 to Form 4. We give to oh, close to 5,000 teachers, primary school principals, secondary school principals, school supervisors. Together we trained close to 4,000 to 5,000 teachers on uh, ICT skills and knowledge at different levels. And so, and then in addition to that, we ensure that all 134 secondary schools have computer labs ranging some from one to six and some of the labs have up to 60 computers and more than 300 primary schools have computers, uh, computer labs and we're working to com complete 100 and 176 more primary schools before September comes on. That's so long ago that Tim Gopi Singh had plenty here and all. Elections have consequences.